Hey Daily Boppers, what's up? Um, this is going to be kind of a weird and random video and it's probably going to be a bit concerning for y'all and I'm very sorry for that. Um, I hope all of this is just me sort of being paranoid. But anyway, straight to the point, I got an email the other day that someone apparently used my Apple ID to sign into iCloud from Internet Explorer on Windows computer at a time when I was asleep and like I hadn't signed in to iCloud.com with my Apple ID recently and I don't have a computer around where I'd be using Internet Explorer with Windows. Um, and needless to say, it definitely wasn't that night. Um, I find it kind of funny that they were using Internet Explorer because just from like a, a point of view of someone who used to, to do technical support for a living, um, that's like the worst internet browser ever. Um, but it still concerns me because prior to changing my password when this happened, um, I had not changed my password for my Apple ID since before I came out, which some people from my past who may wish to do me harm may still remember. Um, you know, I had you know, one or two people I knew who were friends who knew my Apple ID, um, people who I lived with, my ex-wife, uh, other people and exes that I was in relationships with, um, and they could still remember, uh, or someone could have hacked me somehow, you know, and been looking to get access to my photos or, you know, look for dirty secrets or something. So it's really, really concerning to me, um, Especially as a transgender woman who has like any level of notoriety whatsoever, even if it's really small, the threat that we face for violence is just so incredible that, um, you know, I didn't want to say anything about this, but after a while I just realized that in order to feel safe at all, I kind of had to. Um, it's one of those things, you know, that, that, that would, you know, if anything did happen to me, uh, it, it'd be one of those things that people would wonder if they found out, why didn't she speak up about that? But so, yeah, um, there's totally a possibility that someone could be stalking me, uh, or there's totally a possibility that it's just, you know, some kind of random uh, information leak or, or random hacking or something like that. But, you know, it's on, on Apple ID, uh, on, on the iCloud.com, um, on the Apple ID services there, you can use Find My iPhone to track people's iPhones, and I have mine turned on, so, you know, it's entirely possible that someone could have actually seen where I lived, which would be really, really scary. Um, so, anyway, I just, you know, if, if anything bad were to happen to me in the near future, I would want as many people as possible to be aware of this beforehand so that, you know, they could point to it and see at least that they're was the potential for something fishy to be going on um, in this in these circumstances. Like, I don't want it to be, you know, made to seem like I'm saying that any of the people from my past, necessarily like any of my old friends or my ex-wife or any of my other, like, ex-girlfriends or anything would actually um, want, would actually try to do me harm or stalk me or anything, but, you know, um, there's, there's no, there's, I wouldn't necessarily say that there's reason that they've given me for me to believe that, but stranger things have happened to people and like the circumstances of me coming out and my homelessness and, and my, uh, and my ex-wife's decision to divorce me and like a lot of the other stuff that happened with people in my life that time where there was a lot of double talking and a lot of rumor milling and bullshit like that. I mean, it, it made people act in a way that I'd never seen them act before. So it really concerns me that, that anything could be possible. Um, anyway, I just kind of wanted y'all to be aware of that. Like I said, I hope it doesn't scare anyone and I'm not trying to throw accusations at anyone. I just want people to kind of be aware that something really odd had happened. Um, because it, it just, once again, it's really out of the blue and odd. And there's just, you know, there's just too many possibilities that are, are at least reasonable for me to be worried about, for me to want to not say anything about it. Hopefully it's nothing and I'm just being, you know, uh, extra cautious or even paranoid. But, um, like I said, I just, I just want y'all to know because shit happens to trans women all the time. And I'd much rather make this video and have it turn out to be nothing um, than to just, you know, be another one of those people who just vanishes silently and has everyone wonder what's going on, you know? Um, that being said, I mean, I am kind of a little bit absent from my social media lately as compared to how I usually am because I've been trying to just kind of catch a break and, and just, you know, let some of the stress from dealing with social justice stuff and activism uh, every day 
you know, kind of kind of wear off a little bit and give myself some time to actually re- recuperate from basically what's been a year and a half of doing this, like, full time. Um, or I guess maybe closer to a year, I don't know. But, uh, so, you know, message me before you freak out and or or, you know try to get in touch with strive or kelly because they'll they would know what was going on if anything ever happened to me um but you know for for the most part if you see me absent during the next few days i want you to know i'm probably just still cleaning and getting things in order and trying to give myself a little bit of a break from being on such a such a working on such a constant basis um anyway as always thank you so very much for watching um any of your any of your prayers and wishes um and spell work and anything else for for my safety is definitely um appreciated um sorry i'm so nervous right now i don't know if i said uh if i said my full closing yet or not but anyway as always thank you so very much for watching and until next time be yourself